Hi, I'm Mike Murphy, and welcome to The Short, the news roundup from IBM Research. First up, opening IBM's Granite code models to the world. This week, IBM open sourced a family of its Granite code models for anyone to use. These models stack up against any comparable state-of-the-art model for things like code translation, fixing code, explaining code, or even generating code from scratch. By releasing these to the widest development community possible, these models have the potential to reinvent how the world codes. Check them out now on GitHub and Hugging Face. And I have to say, this rocks. Next, uncovering new forms of carbon. Synthetic carbon allotropes are when carbon atoms are arranged in different combinations to produce new properties. They've led to the discovery of materials like graphene, carbon nanotubes, and carbene, and have advanced our understanding of fundamental physics and chemistry. Now, using an atomic force microscope, a team of IBM researchers in Zurich were able to manipulate carbon atoms into a ring of 13 atoms. It's the first time an odd-numbered ring of carbon atoms has been synthesized and imaged. Their work appeared in Science this week and will no doubt be the basis for uncovering new, world-changing materials in the future. And in case you missed it, the 2024 IBM Quantum Challenge is live. Another year, another chance to be part of the future of computing. This year, IBM Quantum is hosting a challenge around its recently launched Qiskit 1.0 software suite. And there's actually a range of challenges for every level of quantum understanding. And the goal is to help familiarize the community with Qiskit 1.0 and running utility scale experiments on systems with 100 or more qubits. The challenge starts on June 5th and runs through the 14th, so be on the lookout for more info soon. For more on the latest innovations from IBM, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter, Future Forward. Till next time.